Libby Crate. Libby Crate. No. No. Good. Libby Crate. Libby Crate. No. Good. Good. Okay. Good morning, Miss Libby. Good morning. Look at the boogers. Good girl. Got the leash on because I know if I did it, I don't know if I'd get her back. Good morning guys, happy Monday. So here with Miss Libby and clearly she's stressed. You know, we just woke up, it's about 7.30 or eight now. And of course, right when we go out there this morning, my neighbor's dogs charge the fence. It is what it is, um, but I can already see. I know it seems maybe silly to say so soon, but I can already see her transitioning from that like survival mode which she was in last night she was in survival mode uh fight or flight um and for her it was flight or freeze you know honestly too where she would just kind of hunker there uh she was hiding under our tables you know she was just very overwhelmed but i can see where she's starting to transition from rather than me being like this kind of scary intimidating person that she's I mean, a kind of person she's probably never seen before that unemotionally can give guidance and be persistent about it, but also help her feel better. Um, and I can see her making that transition to seeing me as someone, oh, she's going to help me. She's going to take off that burden of having to make choices and having all these options and trying to pick which options can be best for Libby, you know, I can make that, because I, I know, <laughs> you know, like I'm the trainer, I'm the human, or I'm able to help her. And I think she's finally coming to realize that. And also what we're seeing already is, I mean, she, that's where we're talking again about that like survival mode. She is very pushy. I mean, you probably, guys probably saw her coming out of the crate this morning. She wanted out and she was being, she was coming out guns blazing and in certain moments like that, I can tell, I mean, it's worked for her, obviously. That's why dogs do that, where she's like, if I just push past someone and it's in a way where it's very, for her, like it's, it's strong energy. So that has shown me that she has learned that if she's just almost uncontrollably fast and uncontrollably pushy, she She's not controlled, obviously. You know, she's able to really get away with doing whatever she wants. And when you start combating that with another force and just another persistent being, that's where she's gonna go, oh shit. And that's where you go into that survival mode where she's going, 
oh shit, this usually works. Why is this not working anymore? And that's where you'll see dogs, they'll start going, they'll start everything. Um, and that's where a lot of the times, like even the videos I took yesterday, you know, her family might be like, oh my God, like we've never seen her do that. And this happens all the time. Like I've never seen her do that. She's never acted like that. It's like, well, she's never had someone act like this towards her where there's strict, firm guidance. And I mean, think about just like a kid. If they've never had that, they're gonna throw a tantrum to see, will this work? And luckily, like every, I mean, honestly, every dog is like this that comes here. But once they learn, that that's not gonna work and it's not worth it and I'm very patient I'm very calm not emotional I don't get mad or upset like I'm not mad at her like when she does those things uh, it just I all I do is I take note of like I was just saying where I'm able to identify okay if I'm seeing that like at, like bolting out of the crate or anytime she's nervous she flees um, stuff like that that just shows me she's insecure but also pushy you know so luckily I am already seeing some progress with just understanding the e-collar understanding what the leash means I know that might seem silly but a lot of dogs don't know what the leash means um, and how they're supposed to respond to leash pressure so got a nice little lady here I'm gonna let her kind of chill out because you see I'm like she's stressed so I'm gonna give her some food give her some water let her decompress I'm gonna go walk my dogs and then after that then you know me and Libby will get to some real work because it's also funny too I've noticed I've asked her to sit a few times and you can tell when she hears that Libby sit she will literally do I mean I don't know if I will include this like last night we were doing the crate drills and then I asked her to sit and she's like, okay, now I'll go in the crate or she's like, I'm going to fly down the stairs. Like she has an association of they're trying to control me. I need to do everything I can to get out of it. So that's what we're going to have to override that where it's like, you know, that's what I'm saying where there's a lot in here. It's a lot of just impulse control. Um, you know, she's insecure by herself. You know, there's a lot going on here, but she's a really smart dog. She's very perceptive, I can already tell. So I think she'll take the training just fine. You're so sweet. She reminds me a lot of our Claire Bear. Lisa, or let's call her Lacey. Libby, great. working with me this is super nice to see so soon she still hasn't potted yet though today okay so I think I'm just gonna let her be now um, yeah <laughs> good girl good job Okay, so we got everyone just chilling now. I'm so happy to see her like this, like sniffing, looking around, not stuck to my leg, but also not trying to run away. So that's that fine balance of, you know, I want her to explore, good girl, and feel comfortable doing so, but I also want her to view me as a safe spot if she needs it. Good girl, Miss Libby. Good girl.
girl. to the park she's doing so well she's just one of those dogs that just gets it so quickly girl I mean look at her and again I'm like she's gonna be overwhelmed for these first couple of days I mean she's a little underexposed under socialized there was some major freak out moments where I don't know if I included clips because I'm trying to make these sideways not vertical so trying to remember that but a few freak out moments where she would just pancake flail in the leash just like she was doing in you know, the beginning video where i was trying to get in the crate so that's where you'll see with a lot of dogs once you learn their tactics like oh, okay when you're scared you just do that freeze thing and you try to fight you know and being able to shut that down quicker and quicker good girl to where they're non-existent because she trusts me you know she trusts that the decisions i'm making are going to make her feel better, are going to benefit her, rather than, uh, mm, screw you, screw you, you want me to do something now, now. It's like, because they're, you know, the big bad world, it's scary, especially out here, she's in this big park, she's never been to, you know, and I'm able to use that training that we've been doing, you know, you know, it hasn't been that long. What does AE lock me? Sorry, this is also nauseating, the walking. Um, to help take away those big scary options and now she can come out here and go for a nice walk in the park this is amazing so i'm just so happy for her and yeah we're moving pretty quickly you know it's like i never really know when i get these dogs like how quickly we're gonna move but the dog tells you you know so here we are Okay guys, so it's about 5.30 or 6, almost pretty much at the 24 hour mark and I'm sure you guys have gotten the gist of this video. We are very proud of Libby, she's been amazing. So one of the biggest concerns of her parents was counter surfing and I've been cooking dinner, we're having tete boki for dinner. Um, I have an obsession, an obsession with rice cakes for whatever reason, um, so that's for dinner. and. She's literally just been chilling here this whole time, literally has not gotten up one time. So we are so hopeful. We are so excited for Miss Livy, but that wraps up, you know, the first 24 hours and this was exceptional. Um, you know, probably didn't look like it when she first came in. You're like, oh gosh, she is spicy and she is and she's really coming around and loosening up, but she's a great great dog i am so pumped so i think what i'm going to do with her progress is i'll post like a week and a half update you know 24 hours at a week and a half and 24 hours um at the very very end so that wraps us up libby got anything to say she's toast she is exhausted the rest of the night she'll hang out with us on place and then you know potty break maybe a little social with the boys and then it's bedtime. Okay, guys, please, if you want to keep up on any of the updates, follow me at The Balanced Corner on Instagram or Haley House Soundhound, but we'll mostly be on The Balanced Corner. I know, I know, the two accounts, I know. So The Balanced Corner, we'll go with that, The Balanced Corner. It's where you can find us. Bye, guys. See you next time.